All right, guys, we're going to try a picture on this. Let's get everybody one, please. All right, guys, pictures up. Pictures up. Pictures up. Let's roll sound. Rolling. Rolling. Sound speeds. Camera speeds. Two. Awesome. Take two. Mark. Set. And action. Get her! The kind of the month is none other than Moray Judah Ben Yaakov. Yeah! This guy, he is the kind of the month. I'm not calling him a Ken or a Tommy or whatever other name y'all might want to call him. Men no, he's a kind. I'm going to give him the title he deserves. Kind of the month. That's this guy. I'm not saying something about this guy because he's he, he doesn't believe in the Rebbe. You know, he doesn't believe in Yahshua Ben Yosef. I'm not, I'm not talking about this guy for that. He don't believe, he don't believe, right? I'm saying something because this guy broke mitzvah 37. Now, some of y'all watching might be like, what what's mitzvah 37? This guy is a moray. He's a teacher. Should he know what Mr. 37 is? But my son, Ben Yaakov, doesn't know. <laughs> and he tried to play it off, and it was so crazy. But we're going to get into Mr. 37 that, that he broke, right? Uh, Zakane William Scott you know, did a message to Shabbat. This guy became a follower so he can comment on our page about the message. That's how bold he was, right? Because the only way you can comment on the page is to be a follower. If you're not a follower, all you can do is say whatever you want to say about it and go about your business. But he wanted <laughs> us to know that, hey, I'm talking about you guys. <laughs> because if he wouldn't have followed it, and he would have just did the screenshot like he did and reposted the stuff that he did. Huh? Yes, 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 I can, yes. That's why he's the kind of the muff. <laughs> right? So I'm sitting there like... Okay. Of course, I can see the notification is sent onto the page. So I see it and I say, what is he talking about? He's talking crazy. And then I click on the him so I can see more about what's going on with him. And I see this post on his page. And look what it says. It says pretty much what he said. Except on our page, he was more direct. He made a claim that the Zakane used the talit as a napkin or a towel to wipe the sweat from his face. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now, Brother Tony, you was there. I was there. That never happened. This guy is a liar. Say, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. Oh, it was, it was real crazy, but all of us based off a lie. All of us based off of breaking Miss for 37. So I'm saying Miss for 37 on purpose because I'm thinking you are Moray. You should know what I'm talking about, right? The following Thursday. He says there are a lot of them here in the Philippines. Right? Like, it's a lot of who here in the Philippines? Is he saying there's a lot of black Israelites in the Philippines? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out who, who he talking about in the Philippines, right? Because we know in, in different foreign uh, countries, you know, the black people there who most of the time are the indigenous people get treated terrible. <laughs> So then it got me to thinking. Oh, 
bold. So the reason why he was so bold, because he feel like, oh, you black people, oh, I'm going to come at you because we treat blacks over here in the Philippines like this. Oh, Lord have mercy. Another coon. Damn coons. I got to do a coon analysis and a coon screening. It only takes a little bit of white brainwash to activate the coon chip. Okay, so you see groups like us, black Israelites, black Hebrews, black Jews, he's seen it in his country, and it's a problem. He say we, we got them all around here everywhere, right? So he decides he just gonna jump ahead and say something over here as if it's not gonna be no 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 uh get back. Like it's just gonna be like whatever he says is just gonna fly. No, wrong answer. If you listen to the message with her Torah through and through, but you decided to lie to your followers claiming that he wiped his face with the delete. Why did you not play the whole video, liar? Why you took a screenshot? If that was the case, you should have played the video or at least recorded. If you got an iPhone, you can record the part where he wiped it and just put that part up there and say, hey, look, he wiped his face with it. But you knew you was lying. He just see, took a picture up. I'm going to make up a lie about it. These people going to believe me because they not seeing a video and I'm there more Ray and I'm telling them this is what happened. And that's how he ran with it. He lied. I'm like, you're supposed to be a more Ray. You don't even know about Miss for 37 because he was because he still said Look at what he says Mitzvah for 37 is. Yaakov Abraham, don't tell me about the Mitzvah for Talit. You don't even know, know about it. Its significance, its usage, isn't even in your head. You try to do some cover-ups about this Kalum Hashem. You are a clown in the circus. I said, <laughs> I laughed, I said. Miss for 37 has nothing to do with the Talit fake moron. Shaking my head. How can you, how can y'all follow a so-called teacher that doesn't even know his Miss Vote? How y'all follow? He don't even know his Miss Vote. In order to master the Avatar state, you must open all the chakras. And tell me everything you know about chakras. What are chakras? Oh, I see. I guess we'll start with the basics. This is called a Taryag Mitzvah. Okay. Any good moray should have this in their library. He didn't even know what I was talking about when I said Taryag Mitzvah. He didn't have no clue what I was talking about. That's why I said the Ashkenazim he trying to get the approval of is looking at him like... What is this guy talking about? Right? He don't know this. He come out here more, right? All right. In this book, it has all 613 misfold. It has them in their number listing as they fall in line with the Torah. So everyone that's familiar with this, as this more Ray should have been, should know. But he didn't. And by the time he found out at the end, he tried to play it off and say, oh, I was the one that was doing this. Mitzvah 37 is a prohibitive commandment. So you got um, performative or positive commandments, and you got prohibitive or negative commandments. Mitzvah 37 is the 37th law that's found in the Torah. And it comes from Exodus or Shemot 2013. And it says, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. This is what I've been echoing to him the whole time saying you broke Mitzvah 37 when he thought I was talking about the Mitzvah for the Talit. 
Let's talk about the Misfit for the Elite. I was talking about was this Misfit. They were a false witness. He took a picture, screenshot it, and, and lied on one of the leaders of our congregation to try to do exactly what he claimed I was doing, to make the righteous black people look bad. The same righteous black people that he's seen in the Philippines that he say he see all the time and he against them. He didn't even know that Mr. 37 was, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. And that's why I kept saying, you are fake ass, Moray. You are fake ass, teacher. What are you talking about? You're not real? If you was real, you would knew exactly what I was talking about. I'm, I'm calling you a liar the whole time. I'm saying you broke Miss for 37. He was so caught up in wanting to drag me into his argument and his debate that he didn't even take the time to note to notice. But yet he claimed to know so much and have so much knowledge. But at the same time, he didn't even think about what his lie can do. This is what the sages teach about his lies, right? It says, since the endurance of the world depends on true testimony, for all matters of dispute between people are resolved through human testimony. It follows that false testimony leads to the destruction of the world. False testimony leads to the destruction of the world. His false testimony, his little picture image that he has up, stating these lies can be used by other people to just take that same picture and run with what he said as if he's telling the truth, as if he actually seen or witnessed something like that happen and he knows he's lying. So again, let me bring them back up to the stage. Moray Judah Ben Yaakov, right? My son. This dude right here is a liar. And it shows how much people want to be accepted by the Ashkenazim would do. Where they will purposely take a picture of black people keeping Torah and manipulate it with a lie and spread it out to everybody and then act like he's doing something so righteous and good. Dude, you are a liar and you are the kind of the month. Goodbye.